Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey. This is Red Color. This is the general reading for October 23rd through the 30th. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I got a little love seat. <laughs> I'm moving slowly ahead. So if you're new, I just moved uh, to Mexico City. And I really love Mexico City. Oh, mm -hmm. there's a bird that's whistling. It's kind of drove me crazy. And I, Guadalupe is with us, drawings. Okay. It is Mexico after all. Um, so I always have a little mini message. So the little mini message is you're taken care of. So yesterday I went to... Um, this place, it's really close. And, you know, it's a, uh, what is it? It's like a pawn shop. <laughs> and I'm trying to get comfortable here. All right. I wish the table were a little closer, but it's not. Okay. Um, there's a pawn shop and they had a washer and a dryer and I wanted to buy them. They were really inexpensive. And then like the, the salespeople were like, mm, it doesn't really work that great. I'm like, thank you. Thank you. So I felt really taken care of. So believe that you're taken care of, you know? Like if you come in with an attitude, like I'm taken care of, then you will be. Okay? That's a little mini message. Nice mini message. Yeah, trust your intuition. Away we go. Um, it's the end of a way of thinking. So like a new dawn has to arise. A new dawn is arising. And I think it's really about really being more in touch with your intuition, right? So relying on things that other than your sight, you know, it's like if you're very visual, like rely more on your hearing. If you're very um, uh, auditory, I guess is the word, then, you know, rely on your vision more or your feelings or your, your knowing, your inner knowing. Okay. It sits funny. It's a funny angle. <laughs> <laughs> and then I get the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Swords is like, so this is the ending and this is the beginning. And um, it's like a new way of thinking is coming, a new way of thinking, a new uh, way of looking at things. Is this, okay. Maybe I should do the chair, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe in the middle of the reading, I'll move stuff around. Yeah, lovely, lovely. This is like um, a remembrance of the past, a lovely remembrance of the past. And you know what it feels like? It feels like you're gonna be able to utilize a certain memory, be able to utilize it in a productive manner. I think it was me, I maybe put on a sweater, you're right. Yeah, it's a gift. Interesting, you know what I just got? So I always get the Knight of Cups as a gift. You know, he's a serenader. He's the um, fiance. But the interesting thing is it feels like, you know, that old way of thinking that you've let go of, you know, it served its purpose and you see it as a gift. It's like, okay, I used to think like that. I used to do things like that. I don't anymore, but it served its purpose and I'm grateful for it. There's like a certain energy of that. And then we get the three, which is a fascinating card. I mean, I always say that. It's my favorite word, fascinating. Um, I'm trying to rearrange myself. I'm sorry. Um, oh, that is a little better, actually. That's better. That's better. Um, for me, so it's creativity. But it's also, it's help from community. And it's subconscious so it's like there's something subconscious going on you know so like some new thought maybe it hasn't fully formed but you know you're subconsciously aware of the old thoughts that no longer work and you're willing to change them and new ideas coming forth but it hasn't come forth completely yet but it is it's 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 brewing it's cooking it's yeah toward expansion toward um you know it, the two, the two is a choice. So I have two choices here. And I talk about choice a lot. I got new glasses. Pretty, pretty, right? 
glass, not plastic. I hate plastic. Um, it's so this old way. It it grew, but it was limited. If you if you look, so it could only grow. Say you know it was up against the wall, right? Or it it's almost like the difference between having a tree and a pot, and then a tree in the ground. A, a tree in the ground can form deeper roots, can be more attached to everything, right? And and grow bigger. And that's where I think the choice is going. It's like I choose to expand myself because. When he's holding this one, this can be, you know, he could make it into whatever he wants. He could make it into like planting a tree. He can make it into a foundation for a new house. He can make it into a baton. He can make it into kindling for wood. He can make it into a lot of things. And it's more expansive because he's got the world in his hand. And uh, it, it sits on love. It sits on the roses, right? So it sits on this sense of um, loving the future. Of, of loving oneself, of loving, see what I'm saying? Yeah. And the answer is in the work. The answer is in the physical activity. You know, until I got to these videos, I couldn't, I can't even tell you. <laughs> I wanted to do it first thing in the morning. I wanted to do it last night. And I, I, I just didn't have the energy. And uh, I made my flight reservations to go back to the States to get my stuff. I, I had one to go, but I needed one to come back. And every time you, you know, don't ask, uh, don't ask. It was okay. But anyway, the answer is in the work. And this is the eight awareness. Um, and so, you know, this is like the craftsperson, the apprentice, the master. And it's in the work. It's in the, it's in a physical activity that you get the information and that you're in bliss and that you're working and you know you're so lost the working you just lose yourself and it's kind of this lovely sense of bliss that's what i was getting from that card and all will be balanced all will come into balance you know if you feel a little unbalanced now which you know when you have two twos right what your choices and then you have like the end of a way of thinking and maybe some memories from the past coming up and you know, some subconscious stuff going on. Sort of like, I don't really know where I am. I mean, this is kind of like where I am. So, you know, the first few days, I've only been living here for like less than two weeks. So I walk into the house when I, you know, I go out and I buy things and, um, you know, because I need everything. So I bought kitchen stuff. I bought a, like a teapot. I bought a thing for the dishes, you know, I bought dishes. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, mop. Um, every time I come back, it's sort of like, well, here I am living my Mexican life. You know, it's kind of like, I don't even know where the light switches are yet. You know what I mean? Because it's a new apartment and I'm new in it. And it's like, you know, getting used to the sounds in the building, getting used to, right, the neighborhood. And it's like all settle, all settle. So if you're in some sort of new situation or a new way of thinking, you know, like a new way of thinking is coming forth, something subconscious is going on, you're working at it, like it'll all be balanced. You know, it'll all be balanced. Just give it some time. And what I realized this morning, and then I'll stop talking about myself, what I realized this morning sitting here, it's my new room. I purposely got a love seat because it's kind of a small room and I could have gotten a couch, but it was just, it would be too big for the room. It would be weird. Anyway, um, and it's comfortable and it was inexpensive. Uh, you know, it's not the best piece of furniture I ever bought in my life. But what I realized is that I feel safe here. I finally feel safe, which is really lovely. Okay, now that being said, I... Uh, Everything is still on sale on my website, which includes readings, which includes pocket squares, which includes scarves, bags, um, handmade t-shirts, ripecolor.com. The information is below. And, you know, I'm back. I'm back. All right. Blessings. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon.